Et il dit, on ne peut pas tuer les gens, mais on ne peut pas être sûr que l'on doit être plus vite à la propre Paris. Et il dit, 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 I told you last time to try to be the six treatment by giving some spaces. Today we are going to start with the breastplate. And see what we can do or talk about before our time is over. Na kama tuna shiriki shiko tu ana kwani sio kula ndapo hiyo istatai la because we still have uh, four equipment four equipment the breastplate shoe helmet and the sword but to chili connect to it before it to learn ndapo cha kufala kachi fuba na kwa knife ni chimpo ngo ni cha kuchilia ami kwera na talking about the breastplate no ma kula ndapo cha kuti cha kufala kachi fuba Breastplate represents righteousness. Hallelujah. The breastplate represents the righteousness. Many people fail to serve a God. It's because of lack of righteousness. When you are out of righteousness, if you are reconciled to him, you will never serve God. The Jehovah is. You will be serving men. You are going to be a servant. What I want to say is, it's a very important point. There are people who are in the church. We are not talking about children anymore. According to them, they think that they serve God. We are not going to serve God. We are not going to be a servant. But I want to tell you. Many they don't serve God. Because out of righteousness, there no way for you and God to be in connection. How can you serve someone that you don't know? How can you serve someone who does not know you? Your salary. Who will be providing for you? That is why here the breath of bread means righteousness. Because in the bread we have the heart. Righteousness it is not the something that you can touch. It is not something that you can see. But it is something that you can feel. Hallelujah. You cannot tell people that you are righteous. But you can feel it yourself.
Jesus. If you were in the presence of that God. Hallelujah. Amen.
anti Christian. Then Kimon and Hulunga, the idiot of Maria, and to my own, the Chimu, or my father, the two that is told to steal something. Or the Tatuman and Hulunga, the idiot of the two of that idiot, you are not what that they teach me in the Christian. What if you are pretending? You put it out of Sandy, but that's it. Maybe you want us to prove to us so that we see that I am a Christian, but if we leave you alone, during the night, you come and steal the something that you refuse during the night that I cannot steal because of my Christian. If you will have for us, you will have to report that the two even the long ship will allow you to decide that it's too much interest in the church of the Israel that you will be able to do. That is why the Bible says that you cannot show your righteousness by keeping the law. But you can manifest your righteousness by action. Hallelujah. Lord for Jesus Christ. When you begin to feel the presence of God, Giving 
He now this can the presence of the Holy Spirit let you eat that very person? Can the presence? Because you said that you always feel when you are about to go wrong, you feel someone telling you that don't do this. Now, if the presence of the Holy Spirit is with you, can the presence of the Holy Spirit let you go wrong? Which simply means you don't feel the presence of God at all. And if you don't feel His presence, there's no righteousness. Hallelujah. 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 I'll tell you what God does. He sent for every time his spirit to accompany you. Under the meaning of you having the presence of your spirit, it is because God never allows his servants to fall apart. Unless it will become stubborn. If you choose never to listen to him. But if you decide to always obey him, to always listen to him, you will never fall apart. What spirit are you making? Now, let me context the correct. Now, you are about to take action. Very quickly, to come and do it. I don't this. I say this You do so I can do this. I can do this. I do this. That is righteousness. Oh, Lord. Not in our fear. So, I'm saying, 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 because the one telling you, the one telling you, just do this, 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 just Righteousness in you. Because the Holy Spirit is not with you. But the evil spirit. Listen. Amen. 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 What you have to do? 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 You talking about the people who are the 
The same thing that you wanted to look for yourself and your child. Do it for me first. God through the Bible Kabiyam chipping. You understand that when I saw you after a night of spoken to that lady. The lady did not discuss with the lighter. The lady did not say anything else. Just one desire. And he began to go to the lighter. The lighter. The reason why the lady knew this man is not an ordinary man. He is a servant of God. That's how faith works. Let's read. Habakkuk okay. chapter 2, verse number 4. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse number 4. Verse 1, verse Habakkuk chapter 2, verse Look! Is evil, is inflated, it is without inequity, but the righteous one will live by his faith. Hallelujah. Look, his people is inflated. It is without indemnity. But the righteous one will live by his faith. Starvation entered that country. It is all that we are going to do. That lady saw how many people died. Because of starvation. And she also said, I am about to die. Here my child. But after hearing the words of the servant of God, she had to say, In a house and they prepared as a result. No, and the Bible says she did not die from that establishment. What made her well? Her faith. That's why the Bible says that the righteous shall live, shall survive. Shall live and survive by his own faith. Faith cannot be manifested in a group. That is why the Bible does not say that. They shall live by their faith, but the Bible says, He or she shall live by his faith. The Bible considers one person. Hallelujah. Just like the salvation is not about the team, a squad, a family, and so on. But salvation is about an individual. One by one we will come. One by one, we will be born. One by one, we will die. 
Umono mtu One by one we are saved. Umono mtu alikusuka. One by one we perish. Umono wa Mungu akaanza. Tell you never. I want to be. I want go through somebody because of me. Just as I cannot go through blessings because of you. Yes, but the thing is that we follow the man who ordered it. One by one. Umona umo we get blessed. Tulapara one by one. Umona umo we get punished. Tulapara kwa ngura tulakani kwa. Tulapara for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Listen to me. Go for it. Mine are some faith. Uko bless to me. No one can stand that I serve God. Tapari umuntu wengi ndo ndo wonder na hizo. How can you serve God? Kutwa mbea sana sana. If you don't believe in him say that if I give what I have I will get more. Kutwa mbea sana sana to acha ke kila mwili ndo ndo na petro petro ka kuri lefi ni. Simbos Chief 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 Hallelujah. 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 So for today, let's stand up from there. You need to have faith. You need to have patience. Yes. For you to serve God. Hallelujah. Stop telling us if you are righteousness or you are righteous or not. proving to the people around you to show to them that you are also part of those who are serving God now the most important thing is when you are doing when you are doing do you have a fear that God is with you Hallelujah. You know when we come to church like this.